purple. Any more coming in? of requirements uh, the statement is about okay so good luck Hmm. Okay, next question. Eh, so we go to the score first. Scoreboard. Alright, good. So next question. listen to my explanation right next quite and uh, no, no sorry the scoreboard okay mm -hmm. so it's all change almost let's see to the next question Majority, good. Next, uh, scoreboard. Hmm, tak banyak beza ya. Okay, tengok bertahan ke tak? Yang the rest, come on, potong, potong. Quality the system of perform adequately 100 thousand. These are good things, right? When the system can be used or assessed by 100,000 people yeah? at one time. Ah, so that's actually quality. Okay, so it's not a function. Yeah, yes, it has the system start with the system, but it's not the behavior of the system. Yeah, it's more uh, detail. Yeah, that is about quality. Well done. Okay, next question. Number five. function 
It's about the customer, but it's not about the function that they want to use in the system. It's about running the software on some platform. So it's not about function. Yeah, it's actually about the supporting technology. Okay, so Windows 8, Windows 10, why you call it constraint and not quality is because Windows, the, they keep on updating and I means that they have new, new version soon, right? So if you, you put a restriction there, must be Windows 8 and Windows 10. So how about people who use Windows 95? How about people who use Windows 7? Who, how about people who will use Windows 11, 12, 13, 14, etc, etc? Huh. So that, that, is, that is restriction there. So it's about constraint, yeah? Alright, next. All right, good. We'll see. Next, question number six. the majority uh, but mostly using eight for the grants uh, constraint I want to system why why is a constraint uh, because uh, for the user the IT officer is actually the client uh, team yeah so uh, they want the developer team to use their existing database they don't want to buy new database so maybe because they want to cut costs something like that uh, but for a software engineer, for a developer, they normally want to use new database because that will make their work easier. Uh, so, uh, or else they have to use the existing database, they have to integrate them, uh, the software into the existing one, then they might find some problem there maybe. And so for normally this is a constraint. Yeah? Yeah. For the developer, it's not good. It's better if you use the new one so we can just start um, setting up the database by themselves. So, it's all like they, their own, right? Uh, so, existing means someone has actually start doing something to the database. So, it can be something hard when you try to use on that database. And, uh, so, that's why it's a constraint yeah, for the developer. All right. Hmm, tak jauh beza. Next question, number seven. Mass. Majority okay, all password must contain upper and lower case characters and at least one number. So, to whom this constraint? This is the constraint for the user, yeah. So, when they want to use the system and they want to set the password, they have this constraint and they have to follow it, yeah. So, if they don't do, then they have to uh, re redo the password and things. Right? So, this is the constraint for user. So, for the developer. Uh, this constraint because this is for the user when they use the system so they have to code they have to put the constraint in the code uh, so it's actually not a constraint for developer constraint for the user but the de developer the, the information need to be inside the requirements document because the, de the developer should know that they have to put some constraint to the user in the code uh, when they code they develop the system yeah okay scoreboard Oh, mesti bertahan. Bagus. Sikit lagi, sikit lagi. Number eight. Majority to answer uh, 
uh, capability okay so capability what is a very clear clear statement yeah? the manager which means one of the user yeah? they calculate they use the function to calculate payroll taxes yeah? in the system okay so that is capability yeah a function of the system it must the system must able the user to calculate payroll taxes uh, okay so that is capability Hmm, tak bergerak. Bagus, bagus. Okay, yang lain, come on. Masih ada lagi beberapa soalan. Dua soalan lagi. So, the second last one. jawab quality lah tu kan ada value ke is there any value there tak ada uh, unless if they said that uh, hundred thousand emails can be sent at one time uh, itu maybe is about quality kan but email should be sent there's no quality attribute there uh, once after has succeed is just like after is it after two hours or three hours or after seven days uh, it's not mentioned there so it's not about quality okay it's about the capability of the system they can send email after the payment has succeeded. So normally people like uh, like us, if you've done something, you have to do some, you have pay some money, for example. So we, we want to have some uh, notification, something that notify us that the payment has been uh, accepted, something like that. So emails are sent and it's the capability of the system. So it's not, uh, it's, it's maybe uh, when you have the statement, then you should identify whether it is automatically or is there some button to be pressed by the user first. Uh, so you need to uh, clarify about that information because in capability, there might be different sub categories. Eh? It's either behavior of the system automatic or is it about the user uh, that they have this specific function. All right, scoreboard. Ha, tak banyak berubah, tapi masih perlu ada peluang lagi. With the last question, come on. Very simple one. Okay, why is it constrained? Where is the constraint? Uh, because I mentioned just now, if the system able to keep something, the data, so it must be capability. It's their capability. Hey, they can keep that. Oh, that's good. It's, they can do that. It's capability. Okay? Ah, uh, mana ni? Quality? Kat mana quality? Macam mana nama orang quality ni? Kat mana qualitynya? Where is the value of the quality? Tak ada. Kan? Even the attribute is not that. Keep is not a quality attribute yeah but keeping a large storage so let's say the system can keep until hundred thousand details uh, that is quality yeah but for if they are just listing some uh field name for a database for example then it's actually about capability yeah all right let's see who are the winners Okay, let's enjoy the music for a while. How far? How far do you know now? about the requirement star is it okay is it confusing ah uh, is it that hard tak susah sangat but you need to have practice right yeah 
Okay, so for the requirements type, yeah. A little bit confusing that's why because uh of course in the game you have that music you make it you anxious and then you only have 10 seconds to decide you cannot discuss with your friend so that can be hard right so what when you do your project you have all that opportunity so make sure during that time make sure you practice and make sure that you can actually identify all these types can yeah all right so now it's about the capabilities like i said there are three different subtypes when we talk about capabilities right the functional one the function of the system and then the behavior of the system is behavioral and the structural which is which is about the data yeah the, the last question right so when they mention about data then it's about structural okay got it functional behavioral structural and then quality is quality, constraint is constraint. Okay? Boleh eh? Okay, now we are going into the second game. Uh, kita tengok how far, how detailed you are when you identify these types. Yeah? So, let's see. Ready eh? So, next. The next uh, game job. Give me some time to set up the game yeah? The second game, come on. You can get bonus mark as well. One mark for number one, two, three, one mark, eh? not three for the number one, two, number one, no, every one, two, three will get one mark, so, wait, ah, Eleven majority, kan? Tapi tak, it's not a high majority. Ah, behavioral, wah, behavioral, because it's about the system, and there is the word automatically. Ah, it must be the behavior of the system. People cannot do it automatically. They you not know, people do it manually, right? So they use the system. The system is automatically, not the people. Okay, so it's behavior of the system. All right, let's see. Who's on the top? Hamza. Oh, okay. Good. Alright. So, the rest. Come on. Potong, potong. Next question. So it's a good thing because both uh, for time being it uh, it is accepted as they are accepted as correct answers. Yeah, the functional and the behavior. Okay, the thing is about the statement. The statement is not a clear statement. Okay, so an email should be sent after a payment completed. It's not clear whether the email is sent uh, by pressing a button or by uh, the user manually through the system or by the system automatically so it's not a clear statement so when you collect your inf uh, information if you got the, this kind of statement then you must make a clarification uh, you must ask your stakeholders or your users to give you much clearer who will send this email is it behavior of the system is it the system will send it automatically or there are buttons to for the user to press on so that the email can be sent so if it's a button there then it's a function uh, that it will be under functional aspect yeah but if the email will be sent by the uh, system automatically then it's behavior of the system uh, so they are different so that statement is not a good statement the ideal one must be very very clear uh, so it should be either either functional or behavior uh, um, can be any two tabla. That means the statement is not that clear. Yeah? So you need to get the clear clearer statement. Alright. Scoreboard. 
Hamza, still Hamza. You're lying? Come on, grab Ubi, come on. Next question, number three. Mm -hmm. Amazing lah. Why wow, functional? Okay, I think because you're confused with the word withdraw money. Ah, so when you read the statement, read the whole statement. Ah, jangan tertipu with one term, yeah. So withdraw money is a function, but in this case, not function because it's about the display on the system. Ah, so what the system will show on its display. So if we we can replace that with user, then it sounds logic. Then it's about function. But if you cannot put user to replace the system, yeah, then it's not. Uh, functional. Yeah? So, for example, yeah, if we replace the system with user, listen, yeah? the user shall provide an option to withdraw money on its display. Is that sound logic? What display on user? Uh, okay. So, the 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 uh, what the the clue, yeah? the hint uh, that you can try lah, the trick that you can try. You replace the word system with user. Uh, is it about the system? Is it about the function for the user? So if you can replace with the user, then it's actually about function for user. User can do that. Uh, sometimes uh, when people describe the system, even it's about function, they said the system uh, will allow. Uh, so actually, when the system allow means that that is the function for the user. Uh, so the easiest uh, way that you can try is to replace the word system with user and see whether the statement is logic for the user or not. If it is, then it's function. If it's not, then it's behavior. Yeah. Okay, so for this case, it's behavior because it's the behavior of the system that it will show something on its display. Ah, human, they tak the display. How can it display on its face, on her face? So it's about the system, yeah? Okay, let's see. Huh. Oh, wow. Repeat dah hilang, tinggal milo dengan Mikasa pula ya. Okay, next. majority 10 only okay ni just like the one that i mentioned just now when you can replace the system with user then and it sounds logic then it's function yeah the user should be able to delete an account logic tak logic kan ha. so it's actually function yeah uh, if you say it's behavioral yeah uh, what if a system can delete an account automatically uh, that sounds dangerous right uh, and suddenly, they the the system delete every all accounts at the system. Okay? So normally, when it comes to deleting, yeah, we don't give that task to the system. Normally, uh, some people will do it. Yeah. So for example, the system admin, they will delete an account. They will delete that here and that. So normally, that is a function for a human, yeah, for a user. So it's functional, yeah. All right. Let's see the scoreboard. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Okay, ada chance lagi. Come on. Number five. <laughs> structure kat mana data they update the display record count hmm. the record count they keep the record count tapi cerita di sini is about updating yeah the 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 task that that we are talking about is updating yeah not keeping not saving yeah so the system can update is actually 
the behavior of the system cannot be function because user can update is the user that update the display record cover of short interval so if it's in short interval it's just like that this um is there any human that will work 24 7 and they just wait until something is changed and they have to update ah uh, normally if it's something like that we will leave that task to the system uh, we cannot hire person to stay there 24 7 and wait and update every time and so it's actually a good task suitable task for system not human so it's a behavior yeah um below eyes okay look any blanche below eyes eh? number six got it a user yeah it's a system oh, sorry a function for the user the user wants to generate a report a tax deduction report yeah so it's actually function uh, uh, yang lain ni apa structural structural it's a report it's not data it's a report so report will contain lots of data uh, if they it actually tells what is inside the report then maybe we can say structural but in this case it's just a report yeah general report tax deduction report so what will be inside the report it will be data so that data is not there in the statement so meaning that it's not about structural it's about the function okay all right good sikit lagi come on number seven behavioral pula kan system admin is not system system admin is a human yeah? system admin orang yang uruskan system so this admin this user wants to view want to have that display on the on his screen so the human want to view that yeah? not the system okay so it's not the behavior and why you say structural log history of structure okay log history is actually a report uh, the same ca case with the reports now yeah so in the log history of transaction there are there are some data there so it's not mentioned there in the statement okay so log history is actually a report some sort of report yeah and it contains some data like uh date time something like that yeah so in this case the data is not there so it's actually about functional it's about the function that the user the system admin want to use when they use the system yeah Alright, scoreboard. Ah, oh, dah naik balik. Okay, good. Yang lain semua dah hilang dah. Okay, kita tengok bertahan ke tak? Nak habis dah. Number 8. sebut kan i just mentioned just now yang tujuh orang ni ke laut dah ya yeah. okay the the structural why because it elaborate uh, dia dia bukan elaborate dia the list out the name and time of transaction account number and amount that is what uh, things that will contain inside the log history the report of log history kan ha uh, so that are the data so when it comes to data it's structural okay simple kan Hmm. All right. Second last question. Okay. 
functional and structural because why because in this statement there are actually two statements in the in that statement uh, so the first one is the seller the user yeah? they want to view buyer's detail that is one functional and then there are another information the buyer detail is actually about name address and order history uh, which is about structural so either one but in this case actually both answer are correct you need to have that both yeah tapi of course in the kahoot you can only pick one yeah? so both functional and structural is true are true eh? okay tak jauh sangat tak beza sangat yeah okay last question <laughs> why this is not about capability uh, ni trick question ni kan so the last one the last question is about I want the task processing speed is about quality attribute and dia bagi 90% mesti best reasonable 99% of the time although they, they tak mention how fast is speed kan how fast is fast but dia bagi tahu the best the expected uh, 90% the speed is very good, very not just good, best. And then reasonable 99% of other time lah. Alright, so it's about quality. Uh, ni yang lain ni dah termakan dah. Yeah. Okay, so let's see who are the winners. the game oh, banyaknya chat ya yeah. okay um so for those who has who have win who have won you can write your real name ya yeah. kan saya tak tahu siapa T siapa pula tu siapa yang menang tadi ya yeah. T H D A Hamza nama betul lah Aras Aiman nama betul okay so put your real name write your real name on the chat function uh, so that I know who actually win and should get the bonus mark. Yeah. Runner up tak dapat apa-apa. Sorry. Uh, tapi kalau semua dapat 10, then I will give you bonus mark as well. Alright. Tentang leaping, okay. Okay. Uh, susah ke senang? Is it very hard? Or can can you do you have any clue? Yeah, what are the differences? So hopefully there you take note all the my all my explanation because there are all the clues again how you can actually identify which type are they again. So uh, the things that I explained to you just now, the things that you practice just now is actually something that can make that help you to identify those requirements. Yeah. So uh, the statement is actually the ideal almost ideal one yeah when you are looking for requirements when you ask the the, the questions to the user you can ask them directly like uh, do you want this function do you want this function normally when you do the software requirement we let the user to say it in its uh, their own words yeah so that sometimes because because why because we don't want you to solve their problem we don't want you to to become their mind yeah so when they speak up it must come from their own 
idea, their own mind, because they know better. Yeah, it, it's just that sometimes they don't know how to tell it to you. Uh, uh, that is the challenge, lah. But um, if you try to um, identify the function for them, yeah. So sometimes it's it's because you as a software engineer, you will encounter lots of different different software uh, domain or software project. Yeah. So uh maybe the function is not needed in that software uh, maybe you have worked on that software and you think oh these are the functions that need to be in there sometimes it's not going to be like that uh, all software has their own differences their, their uniqueness so you need to get that information from your stakeholders yeah don't let it come from you that's why you don't say you are, you are designing no you're not designing anything you are just trying to get all the information from the stakeholders okay and get the correct one and don't let anything miss out or something like that okay that is the challenge for our field yeah, for the requirement so let's go to the challenges let's discuss a little bit before we end the class yeah okay so Sorry. Okay, the challenge. Challenge number one. How to choose the best practice when you are doing the uh, software requirement process? So we know that there are several issues that can uh, that you might face with your requirements. Yeah, sometimes the sentence can be. Uh, that's why from the sample of the sentences that I give it to you just now in the code, it can be something like too subjective it's something like mm, it's not complete what exactly the user start try to to say right so maybe the information is not adequate it's not enough or something like that so that are the kind of issues that can happen when you elicit the information yeah so we want to avoid this the challenge is how can we avoid these issues ah, okay so the challenge number one is which best practice to choose uh, so from in this course, yeah, I give you some experience, yeah, when you do your project and I give you some guidelines. So it's actually one of the practice. I don't say that it's the best practice because there are a lot of other ways to do it, but it's just one of the examples that yeah, that how you can actually conduct your software requirement process, yeah. So learn and be what. Uh, you have to learn everything. You have to listen to what I'm saying, yeah. So, and also practice, yeah. Jangan jadi sleeping partner. All right. So the second challenge is difficult stakeholders. So this is external factors. This is not coming from you. So if you have a good stakeholders, they give all good statements. Every everything is direct. Every everything is smooth. Then you are very lucky. But even for uh, very experienced people, they still will face with this kind of issues. Yeah, this challenge. The difficult stakeholders. Okay. Uh, the difficult uh, also include uncooperative so why people don't want to cooperate if you want to give them surveys question or you want to uh interview that person they don't want to they they reluctant to help you okay so these are called uncooperative they are they have their own reason uh, we don't know what their reasons yeah we don't care much we, what we care is we want to get information but normally this is uncooperative they just don't want to cooperate yeah, uh, so depends on your skill, eh? how you can persuade them to help you. Okay, and then we have this IC. Uh, they are naturally born hostile people. They are not friendly. They don't like to be interviewed. And they give, when they you are asking questions, they just get mad or something like that. Yeah, so you might find, you might face some of the stakeholders. Yeah? Quiet person. Uh, quiet person is uh, people where you try to ask them questions but they cannot answer them because they are too shy for example or they just don't know what to say uh, too friendly are also dangerous lah. not just difficult it's dangerous too friendly uh they are your seniors they are they were uh they face this kind of uh, stakeholders where um the people the, the that person asking them to go out and they think first have some drink first then only they they can interview that person so that is way too friendly which is not good yeah so be careful talking too much so talking too much if uh in terms of the context of the system about 
all about the system, that's okay. Yeah? Um, but talking too much uh, can lead to some talking about something else. For example, when you're talking about the software, suddenly they, uh, the person talk about the house or about the cat, something like that. Okay, so talking too much, maybe you need to have some control. Yeah? So maybe you, you need to improve your controlling skill perhaps yeah so but be careful because if they feel uh upset something they might reluctant to get uh, to give cooperation right so keep missing in action in my aid there are people when you are trying to interview you try to contact them to set an the appointment or to set a date for the interview they keep on giving excuses or when you come you go to that place to their place then they are not there yeah so keep on go, giving excuses not to meet you so this is there are kinds of people like this keep changing ideas so the cartoon down there is about keep changing ideas yeah so we hope that we will only face stakeholders that will have their their uh, idea or their um, statements they keep on with what they have said yeah it's not just keep on changing later oh we don't want that lah. we want this one. Oh no 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 we want to change that ah so if we have this kind of stakeholders you are in big trouble ah. okay challenge number three let's say you have good stakeholders they talk much but it's all about the software good but there are also stakeholders to make it uh, a bit more challenge a little more challenging and uh, on top of the challenge number two different stakeholders also might also have it's not just might it, normally they will have different mind and different ways of thinking huh? so these are the illustration yeah, the boxes of a, a swing yeah so this usually used to uh to, to explain about how different people can think. Yeah? So how the customer, in the first box, so how the customer explain it. So if you go to the last box, it's actually about the, uh, a, a simple swing made from a tire that is tied to a tree with a rope, right? So that is a very simple swing. But when the customer, as customer explain it, it can be something different, it sounds different. Uh, and the person who listened to it might interpret it differently. Uh, so how the customer explain it is like that. And then suddenly when the project leader listened to the explanation, sometimes when they listen, it's not they cannot imagine what the customer explained. They imagine something else. Uh, so that become the swing become like that. And then how the analyst designed it. It becomes something else because they talk differently with the project leader. They don't actually listen uh, to the project leader or the project leader did not describe it correctly. Uh, something like that. So these are the challenges. How can you make sure all the stories are the same? Uh, how the programmer wrote it? Mm, something. They cannot swing at all. How the business consultant describe it is going to be something expensive because business consultant deal with money again about payment. How the project was documented? No documentation. What the operation installed? It's something that will not work as so swing. How the customer was built? It was very high like a roller coaster. How it was supported? No support. What the customer really need? Just a simple swing. Okay, so for our, so these are the stories for the software engineers that will go through all the activities from the beginning, from the requirements until it was implemented. Kan? So, um, for our software requirement process, the first three boxes are actually very related to our feel. Yeah? How the customer explained it, how the project leader understood it, how the analyst designed it. So, because it, they are the first three, kan? maknanya if you feel, during at this stage meaning that the rest uh, what we can expect is going to be total failure all right ah that's why we have to be very careful when we are doing software requirement process we have to be very very careful there yeah? all right the last challenge the harsh reality number four not many companies appreciate requirement engineering true yeah, they think that requirements just, ala, just picking up the requirements. Uh, just make sure that you do your work. 
make it fast uh, and they expect you get the requirement within one two weeks for example because they think with the requirement the important thing is to, to develop so most of people think oh the coding will take more time how about requirement requirement requires lots of quite we don't say lots of time but we need to be very careful so we cannot work right in rush right so we have to be very careful and look into it each, uh, each of the requirements if we miss something we have to add in something um, we have to go elicit again so it will take time right so you need some allocated some time for requirement uh, don't just put two weeks one way yeah but if you have lots of experiences maybe you won't take for example for when you're learning right now you will take around four or five weeks to complete the project for the requirements but when you got the idea on how to conduct the software process then you might only need about one month yeah? uh, maybe two weeks you can finish already yeah maybe if your stakeholders give all the cooperation uh, good statements yeah? so two weeks is good enough if you have each experience but if you can extend that to one month something that is actually more more adequate lah. For software requirement process, but for you because you're just uh, uh, learning about requirement engineering, then I give you weeks for you to complete the project, right? But I will monitor face by face to make sure that you do everything correctly. Okay, so if you have this challenge number four, what we expect you as the AC10 program that involved with the AC10, right, is for you to become an ambassador. Because so many companies don't care much about requirements. So why don't you, because you already learned requirements and you know it's important, you know how to conduct it later and afterwards, then it means that you can become the ambassador who actually promote the goodness about having this software requirement process conducted uh, in a uh, software product product development yeah okay so this is one example from Tranjack. Tranjack is actually a senior your senior and he actually underwent the training uh, industrial training last semester yeah okay so uh, i asked him to give some uh, testimonial about our program so he actually lists out some of the courses which he actually think is very are very useful for during his uh, industrial training so i just speak about the srs about this course okay so what he said is the knowledge gained from taking this course has helped me to document all the requirements in detail uh, and he also mentioned that uh, he able to identify all the requirements yeah uh, by using all the approach that have been uh, learned from uh, this course yeah so what happened was um the company, uh, the gross energy in Ampang, eh, Kuala Lumpur. So in this company, they don't actually take requirements very seriously, meaning that they don't have that requirements documented uh, well, something like that. So they, they don't know how uh, exactly to do it. So when Trendjet go went to the company, so Trendjet actually uh, trained them, trained them. Trendjet actually trained them, not the company trained them train him so it's the other way around so trend actually provide all the documents and they, they he actually uh, uh, shows how to do it uh, so the industrial supervisor was very very amazed yeah with the with all the knowledge and all the skills that trend has shared with them yeah so it's a very good thing yeah it's not just that you go out there and you're hoping that the you will learn all this those things from a company but you can also give something to the company in return and yeah? no. so it's a good thing and you should be become you should become like that yeah hopefully hopefully all right so that's the end of our class today so do you have any question mm -hmm. ada soalan Ada soalan ke? Semua clear? The who, which and also about the the challenges. Semua okay? Alright, jelas. Good. Okay. Kalau tak ada, hmm. nanti I will provide you uh, the list of the statement, yeah? the, the requirement statement. Maybe you can have your own self-exercise and 
uh, and I will provide the answer as well so you can try it out. Um, in exam, normally I won't ask you to identify uh, it's as simple like that. Yeah, It's going to be a bit trickier. So maybe I'll give you some case study. You have to identify all the statement yourself and then you have to identify the types and then you have to use them to create the models and everything. Ah, so it's going to be something like that. Normally when, when I give question for exam, it will be something like that. Be it a final assessment or final exam the same thing i will ask yeah so it will be something practical practical question yeah so to to be able to score that question so you need to to score every single thing the skill every single part yeah so if you need to identify the type so you need to to, to be able to do whatever you do today ah, right okay so if you don't have any question then that's the end of the class this week okay so for next week um, I will I will give uh, the instruction in the WhatsApp. Yeah, so wait for the instruction. So that's it. Okay, that's all. Okay, thank you. So bye. Have a good day. Take care.